I detect high levels of radiation coming from this room. My God, the scales are up the charts! They're coming from the cathode PB700! I can smell the rat poisoning! Ah! Ah! The gas mask does nothing! Ah! Hello and welcome to EEPROM 9. My evil twin has been disposed of. It's useful having a mum who works in the NHS. The incinerator at my disposal. <laughs> right, crazy moment over. Normal composure. Uh, normal. Does anyone know how to do normal? Because I don't have it. Anyway, back to what we're going to do. You may notice, and very, today, a Geiger counter. It doesn't measure background radiation. It's designed for measuring nuclear fallout. It's a survey meter that the that would have been used to survey the radiation levels of various places in the event of nuclear war. So another one of the fascinating relics and just Geiger counters are awesome. And I love them. <laughs> you can like laptops you can never have enough, but this is my first one, so I've only got one, so I definitely don't have enough. Anyway. So this is what brings us to this. The Casso PB seven hundred's only game that I know of. Oh bugger, this is the trouble. I've got this layer hanger, let's remove the lens. <laughs> one minute for do something more second. There we go. That's better, right. Ready? It's called Block Destroyer. Not Blockbuster as I thought. I can't remember the name. It's a game written in BASIC as it's all this machine can hold. It uses the full two tone buzzer to its full extent of bib. Beep. That's it. That's the sound. And well, to put it as it's slow is an understatement. It's a demonstration program basically demonstrating the use of graphics pretty much. As a demonstration program I would say it does a fantastic job. But as a game I find that about halfway through I'm bored. <laughs> Seriously, it does not hold your attention for any more than something like a minute. But it's a lifesaver in it. But it has been a lifesaver sometimes <laughs> when I've been really bored. And it's all what I have. Then it's a lifesaver. It's an interesting little game, but you have three lives, and let's see if I can die. There we go, die so you can see game over. There we go. There we go, and one more life. Bastard. <laughs> okay, you have to wait and watch it fly across. The good news is, we'll go. It's pretty easy too. <laughs> there we go. And that's what happens, and then it will just stay like that until you press a button. Any button. There we go. Six. <laughs> now, as a demonstration program, it does the job. But as a game, well, it's crap. <laughs> it's just. The element fun isn't in there, but it's a good demonstration program. Now I'm going to show you the source code in case any of you have a PB700 you'd like to play it on, or 
would just like to try getting in, into a Acorn Electron or something. So it's page a hundred and something here. Here we go, games application. So cover up my guy account. Is that still on? Yes it is. So here, game application. Now you can pause at any point to type this in and it's this page. That's your shirt being shirt. Now don't start there. You want to carry on here. Moving out nice and slowly, so you should be able to read this in non HD. Because UK bandwidth is shy. And then. That is just a different program. No, it's not. That is not a different program. That is stupid me. And then that's a different program underneath, so. How to play the game, and then variable table, and all that shit. That isn't important. What is important is the codes out there. So, go ahead, play it and enjoy. Because it is awesome. I shall see you when I see you. Thanks for watching, all you guys and gals out there.